Hey guys, happy Friday or happy weekend. I'm not sure when I'm posting this, but TGIF, happy fall. I feel like we have a lot of fun things going on this weekend. I'm here with empties, uh, weekly empties. I don't have a ton of stuff, but I filled up this basket and I thought, but the way I can chit chat, it's probably best I jump in. I just realized I don't have my Scentsy catalog for the notes. Let me get that. All right, I've got my notes. I'm ready to go. We can start off with Scentsy first, just because I know that some people just like to see Scentsy stuff. Starting with non-wax from Scentsy, I finished one of the small washer whiffs in Jammy Time. I love this. I love Jammy Time in laundry products, but I also love it in the wax. It's such a beautiful scent. Jammy Time is part of the fresh category. And it says, drift into dreamland with baby freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. This is such a strong scent, and I think it is a perfect nighttime blend and wax, but also just very cozy laundry scent. Oh, this is so good. I have quite a few more of these, and I just got one of the big tubs of it um, from... My last party closeout haul so i am set on the jammy time washer whiffs i also finished a pod this is in bright cider life i had gotten this um in the clearance i believe and this is just like a spicy apple cider type scent i had this going in the hallway here and it was nice honestly it's been dead for like a week or two <laughs> i just for whatever reason haven't taken it out so actually i put a jammy time in there now to replace it. All right, let's do the bars. This basket is not my normal basket, long story short, but um, so I can't organize things as well because it's a little bit more of a shallow basket. So maybe there's something else since you that's not wax, but not that I can see. So for bars, I finished a spiced pear you guys can see that okay this I got in a flash sale I picked up four of them Michelle really likes this scent and I knew when I saw it and like this scent sounds totally up my alley as well this is such a beautiful scent I've gone through two of them already so I've got two more this is a very it's like the same kind of scent category as like honey pear cider it is a spicy pear. It's pear. It's sweet. There's a little bit of spice to it. It almost smells like, like a caramelized pear to me. Like you've taken a pear and you're going to bake it. And so it's more caramelized and, and not so like fresh fruit. It is such a pretty set. I love this one. Um, like I said, I've got two more of these, but I really hope this comes back at some point because that is a really great early fall type of scent. All right, then I've got some from the new catalog. I made that big haul a couple weeks ago and now I've been just systematically working through the bars, trying to see what works for me um, and what doesn't, what I wanna put in a club, etc. So first one I have is Scary Good. This one, um, I did not like on cold, and so I kind of wanted just to try it on warm and see what I thought. So Scary Good is in the bakery category. It's pumpkin puree sprinkled with fresh cinnamon and counters toasted butterscotch and creamy vanilla in a spooky, yummy treat. It matches my, my Halloween sweatshirt today. So there's something about this pumpkin oil that they use that I just don't like. This is the same pumpkin oil to me that's in Forever Fall, which I do not care for. So this one, I I don't like it. I won't be getting any more of it, but I don't think it was as bad for me as Forever Fall. However, I might not have fully given this one its fair shot. So I had been ready to change my wax out of the warmers at like 7.30 one night. And we go to bed around here at like eight o'clock. We get up at four for all the stuff I have to do with Rip 
myself and then before I get to work and stuff. And honestly, a lot of times in the morning, that's my best filming time because Rip's a little more calm. He hasn't fully gotten into his shenanigans for the day. Like the mornings are just a little bit easier than the evenings. So we're up early. We're getting stuff done. So we go to bed early. So I knew that if I was putting this in my warmers at 7.30 at night, it would be going all night long. I would be asleep. And that's what I did. So I honestly really couldn't smell it too much before I went to bed. And when I got up the next morning, I could smell it. But I think it had probably died down a little bit. Because at that point, it had been the warmers for, you know, eight plus hours or so. And I think it was a little more calm. But I think that's what I needed. Because I was able to smell it scented my home, but I wasn't like in it a ton. Um, yeah, it's just that pumpkin oil. I don't know what it is, but I just, I can't, I can't do it. So scary good is a, a, a no for me, but I hope you guys like that one. I've heard a lot of really great things about it. So it might just be, might just be me. Okay, next is Crin Apple Crumble. I was really intrigued by this one because this is the one that smells like Play-Doh or crayons or something like that, um, that a variety of people have said. So this is baked crayon apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. Okay, I'm cold. I thought this smelled really pleasant, a very pretty scent. A little bit artificial, but like a spiced cranberry type of scent. Now, I melted this whole bar in this room. So there's three warmers in here. So I split this bar up in between three warmers. This was incredibly light. I barely could smell it. And so the fact that this whole bar was in just this room in multiple different warmers and I could barely smell it tells me this just wasn't a good performer for me. Um, so I'm not gonna get this one again. It's a pretty scent. I just... Uh, I didn't get much stir from that one at all. All right, we've got Pear Fect Day. We in the fruit here. Yep. Pear Fect Day is autumn pear mixed with spice syrup and a spirited splash of bourbon. Okay, again, this is in the same kind of scent family as like Honey Pear Cider. I think Honey Pear Cider is like top tier. There's nothing that quite compares to that. But if you like those types of scents, this one I think is in that same family. It's like a fruity, a fall fruit, you know, fruity pear. So I had melted this one in my bedroom and master bath. This went for two days. Really, really strong, very fresh and clean, um, very fruity from the pear. I liked this. I thought it was pretty. It was a great performer. It's not a favorite, so I don't need to get any more of it. And again, it's not as good as Honey Pear Cider to me, so I'd rather just melt that. I don't have any more Honey Pear Cider bars from Scentsy, but I do have wax from Destination Wax that to me smells identical. And there's a lot of vendors that have done Honey Pear Cider, so I think you can get it other places as well. Um, so I just prefer that over this scent for that type of scent, if that makes sense. But this was really, really pretty. It was good and great performer. And Scentsy lately, performance for me, you know, can be hit and miss. So the fact that it was a good performer is is a, is a win for that scent for sure. Okay, Fluffy Fleece. Okay, I do have this in the Scentsy Fresh and I've been using it and really, really loving it. So I wanted to get a bar, see what I thought of it. This is in the fresh category. This is black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. And I am not normally into these types of scents because it's very laundry, very fresh and clean. Those are not totally up my alley, but I really, really liked this. It's definitely a laundry blend, but it just smells like cozy blankets out of the dryer. That's kind of the vibe I get, like cozy blankets out of the dryer that still really smell like your laundry detergent and just snuggling up on the couch, reading a book or something with it. This is so pretty. I put this in my club. This is the type of scent I would use on a cleaning day, 
um, or just if you really needed to kind of freshen up the house from cooking or something, this is a great bar. So really enjoyed that. I did put that in my club. I would like to get more of that in the future for sure. Okay, but that is it for Scentsy. Now I've got Vendor Wax, and I've also got quite a few beauty entries this week too. Seems like it's been a, a busy week for that type of stuff. Let's organize here just for a second. All right, got a couple of one-offs, so just one item from this vendor. So from K's, I melted a clamshell in honey apple champagne. Can you guys see it? I don't know. Sparkling apple champagne with berries and pear. Very, again, reminiscent or in the same scent category as honey pear cider. Really sweet, beautiful apple. Slightly fizzy. Such a pretty scent. I melted this whole clam in this room right here. This is my wax makeup vanity room and I loved this. So I would for sure get that again. Sassy Girl Aroma, I have Amityville. This is one of my absolute favorites from Sassy Girl Aroma. It is very, very similar to Heading to Camp. If you've tried that one, it just has a couple of extra scent notes. I love both of them. I think if I had to pick, I would pick this one. I think the addition of these scent notes really helps it. But honestly, they smell very, very similar <laughs> between the two. So Amityville is burnt sugar, whipped cream, sticky sweet cocoa vanilla, fresh from the oven bakery, and a subtle hint of smoky firewood. So this one I put in my fall melting basket purely because of the name. Now the scent is fall-esque, but I think that this is a really perfect like summer nighttime scent. Like it makes me think of sitting out at a campfire in the summertime. Um, like you've, you're at summer camp, you've got the bonfire, maybe the heading to camp name kind of gives me that vibe, but it truly smells just like a summer evening with a marshmallow over a bonfire. And I say that because I don't get super smoky. I don't get any fall leaves. I don't get any spices, anything that kind of would bring this blend more to fall for me. It's more creamy, sweet, decadent. That's kind of the, the scent that I get from this. So I put this in for fall because of the name, obviously Amityville. Um, well, maybe not obviously. If you don't watch horror movies, you wouldn't know. But it's it's a horror movie and the Amityville horror. But I think the scent kind of lands more summer to me or all year, honestly. Anyway, that's <laughs> kind of a really long sidebar. But the point is, this is just such a beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. If you have not tried Amityville or heading to camp, I would highly, highly recommend you doing so. From Rose Girls, I've got Deer Camp. So this is fresh falling leaves, burning logs, and a touch of dirt. 10 out of 10. This was so, so good. It almost smells a little like cologne to me. I don't know if it's the uh, her leaves or her burning logs or what it is, but it almost gives me a little bit of a cologne vibe. But when you melt it, it is so good. It's fresh. It really is like a fresh outdoorsy scent, but you get the hint of the fall leaves. You get a hint of the dirt. This is so pretty. Loved this so much. I do have another um, mini melter bag of this. So I don't know if I'll melt that this fall or if I'll save it for next fall. I don't know. It's This was stunning. And this was a whole day performer. Oh my God. I want more of this. This was so good. 10 out of 10. Loved that one so much. All right, now I've got, I think like four, yeah, four from Lavender and Speckles Scents. So first off, finished a pretzel, just basic pretzel. 
I was in the mood for this one because everybody was getting their Paulo and pretzel samplers. I did not order those. I'm not a huge sampler person. I, I see the appeal and I do like Beth samplers because she looks like she gives really big pieces for you to try. But with other vendors, so I'm not talking Beth. Here comes the rip. <laughs> with other vendors, I have found that sometimes they offer samplers but then they never offer the scent for you to purchase. And I'm like, I don't want a teeny tiny little bit of a scent and then never able to get it. I want to have a sampler. And then in a couple months, I want a pre-order of those scents. You know, so if there's any that you really liked, you can then order it in full bags. Again, I'm not the one making wax, so that my opinion probably means nothing, but that's what I would love with samplers. And I'm not saying Beth doesn't do that. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I It's hard to keep track of every vendor, all the specific details. So I'm not saying anything about her. I love her dearly. You guys know that. The point being is I saw that people were getting their samplers and the pretzel just sounded so good. And so I was like, okay, I need to, I need to get this pretzel in my house right away and luckily I had some in my collection and it is such a good pretzel. This is strong, very, very sweet to me. It almost has like a caramel syrup or something like that, but you get the dough, you get the salt. Really, really good Beth, 10 out of 10. I would definitely get more, get more pretzel. I hope I just made sense with all my word vomit. Um, samplers are great. I'm just not a huge sampler person. End of story. <laughs> okay. Paolo pine cones. This one, I mean, hello, sounds freaking amazing. Roasted pine cones, creamy vanilla, Palo Santo, and dark amber rosewood. I don't know what was going on with me, but you guys, I didn't get anything from this. I mean, zero throw. Um, and that's really, really surprising because Lavender and Speckles performs this so well for me. So I don't know if it was something just with my nose that day or what was going on because I, I mean, nothing. Like I barely can smell it in the bag. I can smell some pine cone. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was with this one for me. Um, something was off in my nose that day because I didn't get any throw from it. But this seems like a blend that would throw super well. I've had other Palo blends from her. They're incredibly strong. I've had other pine blends with her. They're also incredibly strong. So I'm sure maybe I was just distracted that day or something, but yeah, but that's okay. Not everything is going to be a 10 out of 10, you know, and 90% of her stuff is a 10 out of 10 for me. So it's probably good if something doesn't work here and there because I, when her list posts, I just want to buy everything. All right. Smoked pumpkin marshmallow. This is pumpkin apple, the Bath and Body Works type, blended with marshmallow fireside and smoky firewood. This was so good. This was really, really nice. I didn't get a ton of pumpkin apple. It was just more of like a hint of the fruit and then like the creamy marshmallow fireside and the smoky scent. Really good though. Really enjoyed this one. Um, great performance. I would definitely get that again. And then last lavender and speckles is that fall feeling. You guys, this was so good. Green apples blended with cider lane type and sweet smoky marshmallow fireside. I need more of this blend. It The green apple, it was almost like kind of reminded me, you know, those caramel apple suckers that you can get like around this time of year where it's got the caramel on the inside and then it's like a green apple hard candy on the outside. That's kind of what this reminded me of. That very tart green apple with the very sweet creamy caramel and then that sweet marshmallow fireside too. This was amazing. 10 out of 10. I loved this. This is also perfect for this time of year where you're still kind of transitioning. I don't know about you guys, but in the mornings, it's like in the 60s here. But then by, you know, midday, the high is getting up to like 85. So really, it's like it's fall and it's summer at the same time still. 
So this scent was perfect for this time of year, just kind of transitioning out of summer and out of the heat and into the fall, like heavier scents. I loved that. That was so good. All right. Oh, I forgot another blend. Is this all I've got here? Yeah. Okay. I've got a Destination Wax I forgot about. Wine Cellar. So I melted this in this room right here. I need more of this, you guys. This is so good. Pomegranate, black cherries, pink pepper, musk, saffron, patchouli. So this says it's slightly sweeter than Bath and Body Works. So not quite a dupe. This was so good. Now I had gotten this last year, really enjoyed it. And so I picked up more. I've mentioned this a few times, but I made like one massive destination wax haul in January and got like everything I kind of wanted for the year. So I got my favorite spring summer scents from her, got my favorite fall winter scents. And this was something I picked up for September in particular, um, cause I thought it was just such a good transition scent into the fall weather. And this is beautiful. I only got the one breakaway bar, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking. I need this in like a loaf <laughs> or at least a couple of breakaway bars because this was beautiful. Really, really loved it. Definitely reminds you of like sitting out at a winery in the fall. Um, the area that I live is big wine country. So there's a lot of rolling hills with the fall foliage and tons of wineries as many as many as you can choose from, there's there's a winery for you. Um, so yeah, really loved that one. All right, and then the last vendor I have is of course my beloved Teddy Bees. Let's start with the Mac Daddy here. Finished a loaf and hot pie. Don't don't stress. I still have two more loaves, so it's okay. <laughs> I, I love hot pie. Everybody does. Palo Santo, sugar donuts, hinted chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. This is just the best. The best. And I never would have thought I would have liked the chai, the pink chiffon. It is such a beautiful blend. And I won't say who. I'm not going to give away this person's identity. But one of my friends in the wax community... Um, said this was roll around naked good. Like you want to roll around in it naked because it's that amazing. And I would agree. This is when you have like level of how good wax is, this is top tier roll around naked in it level of amazing. <laughs> so hot pie. Do you guys like hot pie? Obviously I really love that. I'm glad I have two more loaves of it, but if she offers it again soon, I would pick up like another loaf or two. I could melt that all year round. It's just a stunning stunning scent. Okay. And then I finished a clam of sweet Halloween. This is my favorite candy corn scent ever. I think Tiffany does it best. It's so sweet, so decadent, and you can actually smell the candy corn and it's strong. I feel like some candy corn scents are so weak in performance because they're just like vanilla birthday cake bakery type scents. No, this one is a powerhouse. Candy corn, vanilla cupcakes, sweet vanilla frosting. It's just the most decadent candy corn birthday cake type scent. Great bakery. I love this one. Um, I don't have any more of Sweet Halloween. I've used many of these in the past, not clams. I, this is actually the only clam I've ever used, but um, souffles and different things. Sweet Halloween is on my list of Teddy B scents to request so that when request time comes, this goes on the list. Now I'm not sure how likely it is for her to offer this in January for the pre-order, but maybe next May she will because that will be closer to, to Halloween. I'm not sure, but you guys, if you like bakery, if you like vanilla, if you like birthday cake, sweet Halloween. Oh, and yeah, it's the way to go. All right, and then the last wax I have, last from Teddy B's, is a souffle of Rain and Woods. This was unbelievable. This is the first time I'd ever melted this, and I added this to my request list as well. I need more of this. This is crunchy leaves, wet flowers, clove, balsam, patchouli, and sandalwood. This is the most beautiful fall outdoorsy scent. 
it just smells like you're outside and you're in the woods, but it's not spicy. It smells like you're outside in the woods in the rain. It kind of gives me, yeah, wet flowers. It kind of gives me that like rainy day vibes. It's just such a pretty scent. And I know a lot of people like this one. So glad I finally got around to melting it. I can't remember if it was a rainy day here or not, or if I just, you know, pulled this out. But 10 out of 10, I absolutely loved that. But that is it for empties this week. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I finished. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.